We live in a world filled with numbers. But how did man start counting using numbers? Join me as we explore the history of numbers. Counting and measuring date back to the primitive man who used wood to count by inscribing on them. He also used bones and stones to count the number of livestock he had, or the quantity of produce he harvested, or the number of people in his clan. For instance, let's say a man harvested 15 tubers of yam in his farm. In order to record this, he could assign a stone to each tuber of yam. That way, he could account for how many yams were added to his harvest or how many were taken away. So, if he gave five tubers of yam to his brother, he would simply remove five stones from his stones. Over time, they realized that these methods could not record large numbers, and so they began recording groups of numbers using symbols. Various cultures developed different symbols for counting and recording larger numbers. For instance, the ancient Babylonians counted numbers in groups of 60s. This is how they were able to come up with the 360 degree measure for a complete circle. And because they were counting in 60s, they were able to divide hours into 60 minutes and minutes into 60 seconds. The Egyptians counted in multiples of 10, such as 10, 100, 1000, and so on. So, if a boy wanted to count and record 25 balls, he would group them into two tens and a five using symbols. Many cultures adopted this method of recording numbers in groups. In ancient Rome, the Romans also developed a system of counting and recording numbers using symbols, which we know today as the Roman numerals. Even the Igbo culture in eastern Nigeria counted the days in fours as Eke, Ori, Afo, and Nko. This way of counting and recording numbers was still cumbersome and still had restrictions because people would need to draw many symbols repeatedly to record large numbers. The Hindu Arabic numerals solved this problem by using a place value system to record numbers. The Hindu Arabic numerals are a combination and modification of the Hindu and Arabic numerals which led to the base 10 system. This is a system that contains digits 0 to 9 that is used for counting today. Furthermore, when writing numbers, the most adopted numeral system used are the Roman numerals and the Hindu Arabic numerals which we will learn about as the lessons progress. In this lesson, we have learned about the different ways people count beginning from early times. Join me in another lesson where we will study more about the base 10 system and the other systems of counting.